Miguel Torres here. Day 17 of my training camp to get back in shape and lose 10 pounds. So far, everything's going well. Day 17, I'm still waking up at 175, 176, depending on what I ate the night before. So as far as dropping down the extra five pounds that I was gonna cut, not coming off as easy. I am uh, working out and training as well as dieting. So I'm pretty sure that my body's changing and I can feel my, my weight redistributing. So I can feel myself putting on muscle. I feel myself getting leaner. My clothes is feeling different. My face is looking different. So, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. Again, from not eating so many, so much sugar or so much uh, processed foods, my mind's feeling a lot clearer. I'm feeling a lot more healthier. People keep asking me, you know, what am I doing for a diet or what am I doing different? I'm just, you know, choosing what I eat to be, to be a little more cleaner. I'm choosing to, to follow a keto plan right now so I can get down some weight until I go back to a regular diet. So right now I'm just experimenting with, with trying to get rid of this extra weight that I put on when I broke my leg last year. The diet for me is very simple. You know, I, I eat a salad for lunch and for dinner, and I'll add protein to that. So I'll either eat fish, chicken, steak, crab legs, scallops, I'll eat something clean as far as protein. Uh, carbs, I limit my carbs pretty much whatever side dressing I put on my salad. That's the only carbs I'm pretty much getting. Uh, I'm not drinking any pop, I'm not drinking any juice. And you know, I can feel myself, my body just you know, feeling, feeling a lot more alert, a lot more awake, a lot more receptive to my, to my training and to healing. Another big thing is I'm healing a lot better now. My leg was giving me some problems a couple months ago. I started trying to train it here and there. I was spar every now and then. When I first started training, I was hitting it pretty hard and I was feeling a lot of pain in my leg. That's the side, I think my leg is starting to adjust and I'm pretty sure that my diet has helped me to, to heal up a lot faster than it was before in the past. I am getting older now, so I gotta be smarter how I eat. I can't just eat garbage every day. It's not good for you to eat like that. So other than that, you know, I don't really have any degree in, 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 in diet. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a, a doctor of, of, of medicine for, for physiology or anything like that. I just am using what works for me. I'm seeing it work for a couple of friends of mine. I've been hearing a, a couple of different things. You know, when you get off the keto diet, you're going to put on all the weight that you, that you took off. I don't believe that's so. You know, I'm not going to just quit my keto diet and just go back to eating a normal diet of, of whatever garbage I was eating before in the past. You know, from not eating so much, so much processed foods and garbage, you know, I kind of miss it, but at the same time, I kind of see how I fell into this, this pitfall of, of unhealthy eating and unhealthy living. So when I do get back to a normal diet, I will limit 100% how I eat and how I go about drinking my pop and whatever else. I will have pop again in the future, but I'm going to be very limited in how I have it. So the big thing for me is moderation. You know, if anything I learned from this process of the past three weeks uh, is just moderation. Heading into the holidays, you know, tomorrow we're going to have our Christmas Eve dinner at my mom's house, and I know she's got a bunch of food prepared. I'll be all right, I'll be strong, you know. Keep following me so you can see what's gonna go on tomorrow, so you can see all the spread that we're gonna have and what I'm not gonna get to eat. I'll show you guys what I am gonna eat. It'll be something really simple and really clean, but it'll be healthy and it'll be good. I plan on training tomorrow morning. We're gonna train tomorrow at nine o'clock kickboxing, 10.15 jiu-jitsu. If you guys are in the area, you wanna come spar, you wanna come roll, get a workout in, come down and work out with us. I'll be here Friday in the evening as well, around two or three o'clock, just to get a workout in myself and make this vlog. So I'll be coming in after we do our festivities in the morning with the kids. So if anybody wants anything, needs any help formulating a game plan or trying to get a diet on, um, you know, I can't, I can't encourage people enough to, to go ahead and try. Don't wait, you know, don't wait for the right time. Don't wait for the new year, new me, all this, all this crap. If you feel like it's time to get in shape and you feel like you want to change in your life and you want positivity and you want to increase your confidence and you want to just increase your drive, you know, a diet would be a good way to start. You know, a healthy diet, a clean diet you can sustain for, for a couple of months. And if you can, work in some workouts, get some workouts in, it, whether it's in a kickboxing gym, jiu-jitsu gym, whatever kind of martial art it is, or just fitness in general. You know, as long as you're moving around, walking, swimming, doing something, you're going to get in shape a lot faster. If you need any help or anything like that, let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. Send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. Or you can send me an email at miguelTorresMMA at gmail.com. I hope everyone has a safe and happy Christmas Eve. Don't forget to wear your masks if you're going to go out shopping. And please, uh, if you're going to get together with family tomorrow, try to be safe and follow protocol the best you can. Let's try to keep this COVID spread down the best we can. See you guys on the mat.